Hey everyone, in today's video I have an exciting new lens from Lumix, the 35mm f1.8. With the colours on the south coast of England finally turning for autumn, I wanted to test the new Prime from Panasonic with my friends Rudy and India. Our first location was nestled in the West Sussex countryside, so I paired the 35mm f1.8 with my S1 and challenged myself to capture a whole portrait session without changing lenses. I switched over to video and captured a little clip in 4K60. So I hope you enjoyed that first location. We've come to this beautiful tree tunnel now. A nice little shoot with India <laughs> and Rudy. I mean, look at the location, it's beautiful. We've got a nice light, sun's just going down. Mm. Um, so we can get some backlit shots. I mean, all these trees are lovely. Um, this fence line runs straight down. So, I mean, let's just give it a go.
wide f1.8 aperture gives us creative options with depth while excelling in low light conditions. It's fast, silent and focuses quickly, even in backlight scenes. A wild Rudy in the English countryside. What's your thoughts on that dance? Uh, it was magnificent. Magnificent? The best I've seen. That's nice. I'm not alone when I say I've been really excited for this lens and having photographed weddings this summer with the excellent 85mm f1.8, I can't wait to pair the two together for a truly versatile and lightweight combination. I love capturing wide environmental portraits, filling the frame with details and capturing images that make you feel like you're right there with the subject. The 35mm covers it all while rendering sharp images with a unique wide angle depth. I want to say a big thank you to Scott for location scouting and filming the behind the scenes and to the talented Rudy in India for modelling. I'll share all their social media handles below. So that was the 35mm f1.8 from Lumix. I've loved shooting with this lens. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.